Greetings farmers, it's Mark from Cutting Edge Solutions here on a hot day in Sonoma County. Uh, I'm here to just make a quick video to remind you guys how important it is to keep your containers moist. Uh, make sure you're not only feeding routinely but keeping the actual cocoa or peat blend mix you have moist. One thing you need to understand is that cocoa fiber is hydrophilic, meaning that it likes to work with water, it likes to mingle with water. But the peat blends, the peat moss that's used in many uh, nursery blends and, and, uh, and soil blends is hydrophobic. Much like a dry sponge and oil, they don't like to interact with the water. So it's very important that you continue uh, to keep a, a standard normal continuous regimen in, in both feeding and watering your plant. I've got an example of visual here, just some dry, uh, high porosity cocoa blend. It's got some forest humus in it as well. Um, the reason you need to keep it moist is because if it dries out too much, it creates a uh, barrier to the water connecting with the root zone. Um, it kind of shears the water off. The, uh, the soil or the cocoa will uh, concentrate and retract from the actual container itself. So what you may think you're watering the plant correctly, it may just be shearing off and running out of the container and not making contact with your medium. So here I've just got some water and some dry high porosity cocoa. I'm going to water it in um, just like you would do outside. Now again, the reason you don't want to allow your medium to dry out too much is because it's going to uh, lose what's called its cation exchange capacity. Uh, the reason we use high porosity cocoa blends along with humus and peat moss is so that we can feed heavily and consistently. And high quality cocoa fiber has a high cation exchange capacity. So all of the benefits you're giving a plant are lost when you allow your medium to dry out. So I'm just going to allow a little bit more uh, water to go through this cocoa blend and I'm going to dump it out and show you as the water filters through and percolates through, um, we're going to dump it out and I'll show you the difference of uh, what would have been a well watered container, how it would have easily evenly distributed. Um, the whole goal again is to keep your plant raging at maximum capacity. And if you allow that medium to dry out too much, game over. It's a very challenging to restart that process. So I'm just gonna take this medium, dump it out here, and you can see how dry, only down to the very bottom do we have any kind of uh, solid material. So again, this is simple to remedy. Just make sure you water often. Don't allow your medium to dry out. If you have a plant babysitter, allow them to understand how important this is because our goal is maximum harvest, maximum yield, and if you allow it to dry out, and you're going to suffer your maximum yield. Um, last thing I want to say before we finish this video, uh, if you are using cocoa blends, one major benefit our cocoa growers find is uh, uh, foliar application of plant amp after they've transplanted into a uh, fresh cocoa. Um, cocoa loves to rob your calcium from your fertilizer and and hold on to it. So if you're using our organic Omri listed calcium supplement, you can foliar apply that to the leaves. It'll absorb directly through the stomata into the leaves middle lamella and prevent any um, uh, deficiency. If you use a medium that's been uh, well buffered, any high quality cocoa should be well buffered. The addition of a foliar application of calcium will then uh, fortify your plant with calcium from two different directions. Again, you want to spray underneath the leaves where the stomata are, and with plant amp you can spray with the lights on or full day sun. So that's pretty much it. That's all we wanted to say to remind you. It's hot out. Make sure you uh, keep your plants watered well, and uh, good luck with everything in the future. If you want to check out our social media, we're on Instagram, at Cutting Edge Solutions. Our website, of course, CuttingEdgeSolutions.com. We're on Facebook as well. And uh, that's about it.